Hey, what's up guys? One more video here for RE3. Today we're going to show you how to use the global settings for your uh, laser machine using RE3. Now what you want to do is look for up over here is the cog right here. Now you can get here two ways. You can either go edit and settings or you can just select the cog that's located right here next to the undo redo buttons. Now this will pick up this um, menu that comes up and this is the most useful menu on your uh, machine. Now the first uh, tab here is the info menu, uh, uh, sorry, the info tab. This is the information you'll need if you ever call tech support. It'll give them the, the current version of software you're running as well as the serial number of your uh, device. As you move over to the device, you can select uh, the laser positioning, which uh, you can select between relative and absolute. Now, diff the difference between these two selections is uh, in relative, your laser job will always start from the top left-hand corner of the job from where the laser head is positioned. If you select absolute, the laser job will act as if it is on the laser bed. So wherever you position your object in the laser bed, it will absolutely be in the same spot. If you position it uh, with the other selection relative, it will start the job relative to where your laser head has begun. Now you might ask, why would you use these two different um, um, options there. One, if you're trying to start an object uh, from the top left-hand corner or you have a controlled starting point from the top left-hand corner, it's very easy to use relative to run jobs like that, especially if you're running the same job over and over again and the laser just needs to go to the top left-hand corner to start. Now for absolute, this is what most people use uh, most of the time. That way they can use the camera feature and other such things. And what this basically means is in absolute mode, wherever it is on your workspace is where it's gonna engrave in the bed. So those are the two different features there. For laser trajectory, you have three different options, exact, fact, uh, fast, and mixed. Uh, we usually select uh, mixed here at work, though if you're trying to do more detailed work, we su suggest that you go down and uh, select the exact mode there. Now you can always do a factory reset right here from the device as well. Now you can click over to the rotary device, and if you were gonna start using your rotary, this is where you would slick, uh, collect uh, the rotary mode on. So inside device, over on rotary is where you turn on rotary. Next tab over is engrave. Now these um, engraving defaults and cutting defaults are perfect for uh, people who do the same job multiple times. What you can do is you can actually go in here and set these settings to be anything you'd like them to be. And every time you start your machine, they will always be the exact same when you come in. So if you want your raster speed always to be 33, your raster power always be 72, and um, I guess there's no current on raster, but this will adjust your uh, global settings um, when you're doing it. But you wanna cut down your, uh, your raster to 50%, you can go and do that, including your threshold, which most people like to put the threshold somewhere down around the 150 range, which is right in the middle of that sector. Uh, moving right along, you have the general settings here, which will allow you to switch on and off between different things like highlight and hover, show size, tool tip, and auto expansion of layers. These are all things that you can kind of read and look and see if that's the type of uh, you know settings you'd like to have in your workspace. Uh, moving right over to network, this will show your wireless and uh, wired uh, networks. As you can see, we are not wirelessly connected. We are wired, and this is our wired IP. Um, we do have a couple wireless networks available for us to connect to. Then we can actually go over to the advanced settings, and if you have to do things like set up any DNS settings, um, port anything, set up a, a specific gateway, subnet mask, or IP address for your machine, you can do all that right here in the network settings. Now, after you're done doing your settings, you wanna make sure you click Save Changes uh, before you exit out of that. And that is the settings menu here in RE3. Again, if you have any questions about that, uh, check out our other videos on the different sections uh, of RE3 available right here on this page. 